My name is Wesley Littlefield with NewBassGuy.com, and today we're talking about what everybody wants to know: is Garmin Live Scope worth the price? Let's get into it. A disclaimer before I get started: I was sent Garmin Live Scope and to test out. But I have to send it back, so my opinion about it is in no way altered. I'm going to give you the pros and cons and my honest opinion. It's not bought in any way. Like I said, I've got, I've got to send this product back so I don't get to keep it. If I was to go out and use it, I have to go out and use my own money to purchase it. With that out of the way, let's get to what everybody's here for, the review. So I've listed out a few pros and cons to Garmin LiveScope, and I'll go through the pros first. And then I'll hit the cons and I've got to tell you that overall I was really impressed. There's a few drawbacks that we'll get into later, but for the most part, I was actually really impressed. So I took out uh, the live scope, me and my dad the other day in my kayak, and I was using the Garmin Echo Map UHD 73 SV. The SV part really doesn't matter because I couldn't use the side scan. That's a con that we'll talk about later. But the screen is seven inches, so you would think that it might be hard to see. Honestly, it was, it wasn't, it was good, um, good clarity. The, the 73 model actually worked really well with the pan optics, especially for my kayak, which where I need a little bit smaller screen, and that way it's not, I'm not hitting it, not bumping into it, and it worked really well. So the first pro that I would say, and it's really, it could be a pro or a con, but it, panoptic live scope turns fishing almost into a video game and let me clarify that what i mean is you can literally cast out there see the fish and then see if they're interested in your lure or your bait and if they're not you can roll back in tie on something else and figure out what they are interested in. you know you can drive up to a spot turn it on scan it see if there's any fish there at all and if there's not go on to the next one if there is See if they're interested. If they're not interested in biting, then move on to the next spot and scan it. And so it takes takes a little bit of the curiosity factor out of it. Like, well, I'm gonna cast over here to see if there's any fish. Instead, I'm casting over here because there is fish. And, and it's almost like that video game feel. If you've ever played a fishing video game, you know that most of the time in a fishing video game, when you cast, you can see the fish around your lure and see if they're interested in it. And that's the same thing like with uh, live scope in my opinion so it's a pro in one hand and it kind of takes some of the fun out of it in the other hand so it, it could go either way and another pro is you can find what they want really fast because of this so as I mentioned you know you can cast out there and see that oh if they're interested in this bait I'm gonna keep using it or they didn't even pay ounce of attention tie something else on and figure out what they will pay attention to and what they do want so it helps with lure selection also. Another thing that I, I really liked about it was I could actually identify the fish. While me and my dad were out there, and we were actually catfishing, but I could see up into this brush pile where we kind of were, and I could see the little sunfish and the bluegill swimming around it. And then I could see bigger fish, which I assume were either catfish or carp. And I was able to identify between at least, you know, that much between a sunfish and a catfish or a carp. Now, determining between the catfish and the carp was a little more difficult because they were both bigger fish, but it was nice knowing that there were fish there and there were big fish that I wanted to target there. That, you know, that's another thing is you might see a, a bait ball and, you know, you go through it and on traditional sonar, it just blows up and there's, you know, it's hard to tell or you can tell there's a bait ball there, but it's really hard to tell. If, Maybe there's another fish there. Maybe that's just a bunch of bait together. Where with live scope, you can see each individual fish and be like, oh, that's the bait ball. Oh, there's a big fish underneath the bait ball. Let's hang out here and figure out what's going on. All right, so for the cons, and honestly, we all know it's coming. It's expensive. It's another 1,500 plus dollars to add on to your already 1,000 plus dollar uh, fish finder. So unless you've just got 1500 extra dollars laying around it's usually not in the budget now with that said is it worth it it depends you know i mean if, if you want to catch more fish i do think that 
that the advantages that live scope offers if you're especially if you're a tournament angler or anything you have to have it there's no doubt somebody else is going to have it you you have to have it as a tournament angler now for somebody like me who's more of a weekend fun angler and i might dabble in tournament every now and then uh, it's harder to convince the wife of course do i want it absolutely but spending that kind of money eh, it's really expensive and another con that i mentioned a little bit earlier is you can't use side scan now granted it's not that big of a deal because you have the live scope you can literally see what the bush looks like and everything and i mean you can see some of the footage from that day when i used it that you can see the tree real clear so do you really need side scan eh, yes and no yes because you know side scan gives you a view off of both sides of the boat where live scope is only going to give you wherever your transducer is pointed but live scope's also going to give you a really detailed image to make it easy to be able to tell what side scan would be showing you too so yes you need it and no you don't to get around this of course you can always just buy another fish finder buy another unit and run your side scan off of that one and then use the other one for um, live scope now once again you gotta pay another thousand dollars for that so all in all it starts to add up even more and gets more expensive but that's why you see so many professionals with two three four screens on their boat because they're all they're using you know three different sonars and they want the big views and everything and with this one you couldn't you couldn't do both now i was able to do both um live scope and traditional sonar or down scan sonar that i was able to run at the same time and it worked really well the you know both machines didn't have any delay or anything like that and I really liked it. Those are my honest opinions on Garmin LiveScope. I would honestly go out and buy it if I had $1,500 lying around. But there are some drawbacks to it. And for the average angler, it it usually doesn't balance out. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't make you a better fisherman. Because I, I think Garmin LiveScope would make you, would make a bad fisherman an okay fisherman because they're able to go out there and figure out where the fish are a lot quicker. You know, it, it will increase your fishing ability to a point, but this isn't gonna guarantee you that you catch fish. You, you still gotta go find them and find what they want. Now, it makes all that a lot easier. So, is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it in my opinion. If you enjoy these gear reviews, then leave us a comment on what you want us to review next. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps us grow. If you use the links down below in the description, we do get a little bit of a commission at no extra cost to you. It just helps support the channel a little bit so we can continue to grow and keep bringing awesome content reviews like this and other um, fishing rig videos. We've got all kinds of stuff lined up. If you guys just like and subscribe and we'll keep bringing it to you. And remember, education is important but fishing is essential.